Hi everyone. I just wanted to do a quick video about the fact that it's now been just over two years since I started this channel and I have a few observations about the thousands of comments I've received during that time. For those of you who are interested, part two of the Beast with Seven Heads and Ten Horns video will be hopefully finished in the next few days. I originally planned that for the end of February, but as is tradition with me, I'm running a week or so behind on things. Anyway, here are 10 observations about my channel I have after two years, based on over 5,000 comments and a whole lot of emails. Number one, Obama is still a popular choice for the Antichrist. Right from the start, I've gotten a lot of comments from people who are 100% convinced that Obama is the Antichrist. It really doesn't matter that he doesn't match a lot of the biblical descriptions of the Antichrist because he's the one and only possibility in the eyes of many. Number two, Trump supporters get angry at my saying he's the Antichrist. I mean, it's not even a normal anger, such as when someone might insult your mom or dad. It's extremely visceral, as if I've accused them of personally doing terrible things. It's more evidence that Trump connects with his supporters on a deeply emotional level and why they are so passionate about him. Number three, most Christians don't know what the Bible says about the Antichrist. Now, I'm not going to claim that I know everything in the Bible. <laughs> There's plenty I don't. But it does surprise me how ill-informed many Christians are about this end times figure. Especially considering, you know, we're in the end times. Number four, politics ruins Bible discussion. It seems that a lot of us can't separate our political beliefs from the Bible. I'm not going to blame that on Trump, since this has been going on long before he got into politics, but it is a shame that interesting talk about Bible prophecy can so quickly devolve into the whole right versus left narrative. Number five, the growing desire to see people executed. If there's one disturbing trend I've noticed over the past year is that more and more people on the right are getting behind the idea that Trump's enemies have committed treason and they need to pay the ultimate price for doing that. I see this idea on a lot of other pro-Trump channels and websites as well. Number six, white Christian nationalism is alive and well. Perhaps I was just a little naive about how common this belief is, but I am still taken aback every time someone posts a comment about God preferring one race over another. It sincerely saddens me to see people twist Bible verses to promote this idea. Number seven, some people just want to hate other people. In many comments, I'll see a remark about how a certain person hates the left or the media or Trump or Trump supporters. This is so against what the Bible teaches us, and I need to do a better job speaking out about this. Let me just say clearly, we should not hate anyone. That includes not only Trump supporters, but Donald J. Trump himself. Number eight, we're different people in real life. Every now and then when I start to get a little defensive at a comment, I try to remind myself that if I was talking to that person in real life, we'd probably get along just fine. It's just another way that this virtual world can suck the humanity out of us and get us arguing about things that we probably never would in the real world. Number nine, none of us will agree on everything. We're all looking for the truth in these last days and none of us have every single thing about Bible prophecy correct. I've certainly changed a few of my beliefs over the years as I've become better informed about what the Bible actually says and not what I was raised to think it said. Number 10, I'm sincerely grateful for those of you who have left comments or subscribed. This channel is still pretty small, but I do appreciate those of you who have taken the time to leave comments, watch the videos, and even subscribe to my channel. That does mean a lot to me. If you haven't noticed, I've never asked for anyone to like one of my videos or subscribe to my channel. I've always assumed that if you wanted to do those things, you would, and you didn't need me to remind you. Anyway, that's just a few thoughts on two years of talking about Trump being the Antichrist. If you have any thoughts about my thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. Again, the video about the beast with seven heads and ten horns, part two, should be ready in a few days. I'll talk to you guys soon.